This is Brawl Center, your one-stop shop for all news of Brawl Stars Esports. Our top stories this week include a major re-signing in Europe, a possible change-up from the best team in North America, and of course, multiple Queso Cup champions being crowned. Let's get into the news. This week, Tribe Gaming NA won the Queso Cup Grand Finals. After three straight victories against Obey Alliance, Mystic Esports, and a notable reverse sweep against Chasmic Gaming NA, the team of four were crowned Queso Cup champions. However, fall Following their championship win, Tribe Corey tweeted, quote, Last tournament with these guys ended on a high. Love you guys. Many speculate that Corey could be departing from the team. However, all four members of the current roster announced on Twitter that they had signed deals with an organization at very similar times. This was, after all, you know, the stereotypical signing of a tweet kind of meme that everybody puts up. But while announcing his signing, Tribe is Living notably said, quote, sometimes change is better, which spooked a lot of Tribe NA fans. One of the biggest rumors and kind of questions I've gotten over the past few weeks has to do with these two players, especially as Livy and whether or not he will be moving based on what he said this tweet. While nothing is of course official, these guys haven't come out and said it themselves, I personally would be pretty darn shocked if they didn't just get back together, especially based on the time these tweets were made, their success last year, etc. I, I think if they stay together, they're clearly favorites for 2023 to make World Finals. I'm not really sure why they would change things up. Reply Totem, the second seed in EMEA in 2022 and top eight finisher at the World Finals have just announced the re-signing of Joker, Mari, and Maru as their three players in 2023. Reply Totem this year, though, is joined by Coach Roll, a veteran coach and a very successful one who previously was with AC Milan Clash in the Latham South region last year. While they did not qualify for the playoffs in the Queso Cup, I'm not overly worried about these guys. Reply Totem has had some of the best success in the world for two years straight, and as of right now, I believe they should be the favorites to claim one of those guaranteed world final spots in 2023 for EMEA and maybe even the one seed for that region, to be honest with you. They've got more time as a team now, success in LAN events, especially ones like ESL snapdragon pro series and now multiple times at worlds expect big things from these guys after two years with SK Gaming, Symantec officially announced on Twitter that he will no longer be playing with the organization in 2023. This is an iconic combination, and for a lot of you, this may come as a surprise. However, if you've been watching the last few videos, there have been rumors that he may join another roster. Even since the last video, Drage, a former Tribe Gaming EU member, which is also a team that is disbanded, OPE and Symantec have continued playing together in scrims. Since the last video I have made, they have played several scrims and have looked really solid throughout all of the ones that at least I've been able to personally see. It is likely they signed to a new organization in Brawl Stars, and while they are new as a trio, they have a lot of talent, which is clearly shown in the success they've had in past BSC seasons, and with time, could be really poised to take one of these world final spots that are guaranteed in EMEA in 2023. There are three of them that are up for grabs, and we will most certainly have to keep an eye on these guys as the season progresses. One of the biggest stories this offseason has been the 2022 World Championship and runner-up teams, Zeta Division 1 and Zeta Division 0, officially splitting up, parting way and joining separate teams. This became official a couple weeks ago in a previous video, and while three of those guys we've known and are arguably the world championship favorites for 2023, now we have official word of where the others are going to. The remaining three of the Zeta Division 1 and Zeta Division 0 group, Kenji, Kuru, and Achapi, have been playing the ESL Snapdragon Pro Series together for the last few weeks and doing quite well. However, they've announced that they will be going their separate ways for the BSC season. Chasmic Gaming has signed their second BSC roster. It consists of Kenji and Kuru, two of those previous members, and now Dempsey, who played for the fourth place team in 2022 in East Asia, Ataru Chan Club. Between East Asia and Southeast Asia, there's only one guaranteed spot to make it to the world of finals and while they will not be the favorites to do so it's still possible for them but there are still several last chance qualifier spots for this region i fully anticipate they will be one of those teams that at least have a shot at making worlds or the lcq as for a choppy that's one of the players i've had many questions about he is still looking out for a team and hasn't announced anything yet i am looking for him to join with somebody like menmi or other players like yatan out there as well there's plenty of really awesome east asia players that are still free agents and of course since he's one of the most historic and accomplished players in the world in the history of Brawl Stars, to be honest with you. We'll absolutely continue to follow him and where he ends up later on. As for tournament news, in 2023, this was the first big week for some major tournaments of the year as three different regions had their Queso Cup winner split finals and three brand new champions were crowned to start of the year. Tribe Gaming NA took the championship as the three seed climbing their way through the gauntlet to defeat Chasmic Gaming NA in a reverse sweep in the grand finals. It was quite a way to start the year for this region and 
and this team. In Latin South, the champion was a major dark horse ATR consisting of two former world championship players, Loco and Alonzo. They had to win four straight matches to claim the victory. They found themselves all the way in the bottom of the gauntlet and won every single match necessary. This was very impressive and included 3-1 victories over all their opponents, including CMG Gaming, BR, and AC Milan Clash, who have had some shifts in their rosters, but nonetheless were the top two teams in Latim South last year. Finally, over an EMEA, Team Queso won 3-2 in a very close one over the previous SK Gaming roster in the Grand Finals. Team Queso, of course, placed top eight at the World Finals in 2022, but they have not officially re-signed as a group to Team Queso quite yet. We'll definitely continue to monitor their situation. Congrats to all these amazing teams and looking forward to seeing what they can do in ESL, Queso Cup, and the BSC, of course, which is about a month away. Thank you all so much for watching the video. It would mean a lot if you went ahead and liked and subscribed. It takes such a little amount of time. It's absolutely free and it goes a long ways towards helping my channel. My goal right now is to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer and closer with consistent videos, uploads, and covering all this stuff. I hope we can get there soon. Appreciate you all again and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.